Hey everyone and welcome back for another deep dive. I'm glad to be here. Today we're taking a look at something that's uh, honestly pretty wild. Definitely. We've got this recall with the Nissan Z. Yep, the 2023 and 2024 models. And get this, it's not about like a faulty part or anything. No, not this time. It's about the pedestrian safety system. You got it, that pop-up hood. The one that's supposed to help if a pedestrian is hit. Right, and for some of these cars it might not work. Because of what, a software bug or something? You could think of it like that, but it's actually even simpler than that. What do you mean? It's a wiring diagram issue. So like they plug something into the wrong place at the factory? Well, not exactly. The problem is actually with the diagram itself. Oh, so they were working off of like bad instructions. Basically, the connectors for the right side sensors are reversed in the diagram. So the people building the cars were following the wrong instructions? Pretty much. And that means the system might not detect a pedestrian correctly. And the hood won't pop up. Man, that's a serious problem. How many cars are we talking about here? Over 4,000. Wow. And is it all Zs or just specific trims? It includes the Nismo edition, which is adding to the drama. What do you mean? Well, the Nismo only comes with an automatic transmission, and some people are really upset about that. Oh, right. Those purists who want a manual in their sports car. Exactly. So this recall is kind of rubbing salt in the wound for them. First no manual, and now this. Pretty much. So how did Nissan figure this out in the first place? That's what's interesting about it. It wasn't a bunch of cars failing out on the road. So what happened? A technician was working on a Z and noticed something strange when they disconnected the sensor connectors. What was it? A specific diagnostic code popped up. Huh. And that triggered an investigation. And it turns out the problem goes all the way back to the design diagram from Nissan's plant in Japan. Really? So a tiny error thousands of miles away led to this huge recall. Yep. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. Talk about attention to detail. So what's Nissan going to do about this? They're doing the right thing. They've issued a recall to replace the entire front bumper harness. And it's free for owners, I hope. Of course. So when can people expect to get this fixed? They're planning to send out notification letters on December 12th. Okay. And how long does the actual repair take? About two hours. That's not too bad, all things considered. Nope. Especially when it comes to safety. Yeah, you can't really put a price on that. Exactly. And it makes you think about how complex cars are these days. Totally. We're talking about networks of sensors and software and all these mechanical systems working together. It's no wonder things can go wrong sometimes, even with all the testing they do. And this is just with a wiring diagram. I can't even imagine what it's like to troubleshoot something with the self-driving features. It's a whole different ballgame. So this whole situation with the pop-up hood has got me thinking about the bigger picture. Like what? Like the future of car manufacturing and how we make sure these kinds of errors are caught before they become safety hazards. It's a huge challenge and it's only gonna get tougher as cars get even more advanced. And then there's the whole thing with the Nissan Z and its Mercedes transmission. Right. It really shows how globalized the car industry is. Absolutely, here we have a Japanese sports car with a German transmission and a design flaw that originated in Japan but affects cars all over the world. It really makes you realize that a car isn't just a product of one country anymore. Nope, it's a global collaboration. And when something goes wrong, it can have ripple effects everywhere. Definitely, it's a fascinating case study. It really is, and it raises some important questions about the future of the car industry. For sure. But before we get too deep into that, let's bring it back to this recall. Okay. What are the key takeaways for our listeners, especially if they own a Nissan Z? The most important thing is not to panic. Right. Nissan is handling this and providing a free repair. So just wait for that recall notice in December. Exactly. And if you have any concerns in the meantime, contact your local Nissan dealer or the NHTSA. Great advice. Stay informed and stay safe. And stay tuned because we're going to dig even deeper into this in the next part of our deep dive. We'll be right back after a quick break. Yeah, it really is fascinating. And, you know, speaking of globalization in the car industry, did you know that the nine-speed automatic in the current Z, the RZ34, is actually from Mercedes-Benz? Wait, really? A Nissan with a Mercedes transmission? Yeah. That's kind of wild. Yeah, it's not super uncommon for car companies to share tech like that. For Nissan, it probably saved them some money and got them a really good transmission. But I'm sure some of the Z fans weren't too thrilled. Yeah, I can imagine. There's just something about a sports car that feels right with a manual transmission. You know, that direct connection between you and the machine. I hear you. And that brings us right back to the Nismo edition and all the talk about it being automatic only. Some people are saying it goes against what the Z is all about, a real driver's car. It's like this recall is just adding fuel to the fire, mm. right? 
It makes you think about how car companies try to balance everything. Yeah, trying to stay true to the car's history and keep the fans happy, but also using the latest tech and making things safer. It's a tough job, for sure. Yeah. But let's zoom out for a second and think about this recall in the context of all the technology in cars today. Okay. I mean, it's not just about transmissions and wiring diagrams anymore. Yeah. Right? We've got self-driving features and all these driver assistance systems. Yeah. It's like cars are becoming computers on wheels. Exactly. Yeah. So it makes you wonder, are these kinds of recalls just going to become more common as cars get more complex? That's a good question. It's easy to think so, right? More tech, more things to go wrong. Right. But at the same time, all this new tech also means we have better ways to diagnose and monitor things. This is kind of a trade-off. Exactly. Th think of it like the human body super complex system, right? And sometimes things go wrong. Of course. But we also have all this amazing medical technology to help us catch problems early. Okay, I see your point. Yeah. But all this talk about things going wrong, even with all this advanced technology, it makes me think about the future of car safety. What do you mean? Like, are we headed in the right direction? Are these systems going to get more reliable? Or are we just setting ourselves up for more problems down the line? It's a question we all need to be asking ourselves, and there's no easy answer. As we start to rely more and more on technology to keep us safe on the road, we have to make sure that these systems are really reliable and that they're being developed ethically. It's like we're moving into this new era of driving with so much potential, but also a lot of risks that we need to manage carefully. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, and it's a conversation that we need to be having as a society. But for now, let's bring it back to our listeners, especially those who might own a 2023 or 2024 Nissan Z. Good point. What's the bottom line here? Don't panic. Nissan is taking care of this issue. Right. Just watch for that recall notice in December and follow the instructions. And if you have any concerns before then? Contact your local Nissan dealer or the NHTSA. Perfect advice. Remember, everyone, stay informed and stay safe. A well-informed driver is a safer driver. That's a great way to put it. This deep dive has been quite a ride. We started with a wiring diagram error and ended up talking about the future of car safety. It's been interesting for sure. But before we wrap up, I want to leave our listeners with something to think about. Okay. With all this new technology coming out, what are your expectations for the future of car safety? Do you think things will get more reliable? Or are you worried about potential problems as cars get even more complex? Hmm... That's a tough one, I think. It really is a lot to think about, isn't it? We're pushing for all this amazing technology in cars, safer cars, more automation, and it all sounds great, but then you have to wonder what happens if something goes wrong. Right, it's like we're building this incredible high-tech safety net, but we also have to be ready for the possibility that it might not always be there to catch us. Exactly, and that's where the whole ethical question comes in. You know, as we start to rely more and more on algorithms and software to make driving decisions, who's actually responsible when something goes wrong? It's a question that's already being debated with self-driving cars, but it goes way beyond that. Any system that takes some level of control away from the driver lane assist, automatic braking, all of it, it raises those same ethical questions. Where do we draw the line between helping the driver and actually replacing them? That's a debate that's only going to get more intense as technology keeps advancing. And honestly, it's something we need to figure out as a society. Mm -hmm. How do we use all this innovation in a way that's both safe and ethical? You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. But for now, I think it's important to bring it back to our listeners, especially those who might own a 2023 or 2024 Nissan Z. Definitely. If you're out there and you've got one of these cars, especially the Nismo edition, keep an eye out for that recall notice. It should be coming in December. Mm -hmm. And even if you haven't noticed any problems with your car, it's really important to get that repair done. It's all about making sure your car is as safe as possible. And remember, everyone, this recall is a good reminder for all of us, no matter what we drive, to stay informed about potential safety issues. Check the NHTSA website every now and then or give your dealer a call. It just takes a few minutes and it could make a big difference. Couldn't agree more. A little awareness can go a long way when it comes to safety on the road. Well said. I think it's time to wrap up our deep dive into this Nissan Z recall. We've covered a lot of ground today, everything from the technical details to the bigger questions about the future of car safety. Yeah, it's been quite a journey. It really has. We hope everyone found this episode informative and maybe even a little thought provoking. Remember, even the smallest details can have huge consequences when it comes to safety. Staying informed is the best way to keep yourself and everyone else safe out there on the road. Absolutely. Drive safe, everyone. And until next time, keep those wheels turning. And we'll catch you on our next deep dive.